of silence I know I know some of you are rolling your eyeballs like yeah we're used to Juliana you're always coming in and leaving us and going out and all of that but I would always thank you for bearing with me thank you for understanding thank you for always coming back when I come back you know thank you so much honestly I didn't mean to disappear on you guys you guys already have an idea why I disappeared right so a tribe called Judah came up one being young gay <laughs> yeah 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 I can just imagine y'all saying congratulations team ATCJ that's a tribe called Judah if you are team ATCJ leave it in the comment down below if you are the one really one really one really gang member if you are one of us let me know in the comment down below if you've not seen it please try to see it um it's in the cinema it's in all cinemas across the country so basically that's one of the things that that's one of the things that kept me away from here and i also went to different states doing some epic jobs the epic movies coming are really epic like i can't wait for you to hear me speaking like serious yoruba like hey gosh so yeah and i was just I, I didn't even think of you know recording anything even though i had said that i would take you guys behind the scenes with me maybe i would i would try to do that more often this year but that i've been doing that you know then christmas came up new year came up retreating you know spending time with god and all of those things basically but i'm back and yeah happy new year once again so i once i was um meditating and thinking of what i can do this year i realized that one of the things that god told me about this year is that <coughs> it's calling us excuse me calling us to intimacy and then i'll have my sisters on board you know would have a lot of fun interesting things <coughs> excuse me to talk about this year but so i remember like god was talking about intimacy and how it's really essential to be intentional about our intimacy with god this year in this season and we really need to protect your joy this season this year your joy is your weapon this is in this year you have to be intentional about excuse me i think something is in my throat <clears> throat> intentional about your spiritual growth your walk with god you have to be and it's not for rema it's not to quote scriptures it's for relationship with god and you know you have to you have to stay in the place of intimacy in the place of prayer with god there will be so many things happening this year i'm sure that you know from our different churches uh different prophets or man of god that we respect has told us what this year is all about and maybe from your which is this one is actually really important i mean like caring god for yourself to know what year it is for you like between you and god is very essential and i know that some of you already have a word for the year <clears throat> one of the things i sense god telling me to do is to make scriptures really interesting to people because when i read the bible y'all <laughs> i watch a movie like it's really interesting in my head and i think i have a whole pov like an entirely different pov when i read the bible and sometimes i'm cracking up sometimes i'm frowning sometimes i'm crying sometimes i'm like oh my god work on my heart like different emotions and depending on the part of the bible i'm reading or depending on the interpretation that the holy spirit is putting in my heart at the time i was reading the scripture and I've discovered so many things in recent times about the scripture that the same scripture I've been reading, the same scripture. Like, whoa, what's going on here? I had to like read it again, open my previous notes and read the things I had written. And that's why the Bible is the, the Bible is inexhaustible. You cannot exhaust the word of God because he, he can take you into different dimensions and depths, you know, in reading. <clears throat> when you are reading just one single scripture you know and anyway so i decided to let you guys into my own world my pov of the bible so to start with i would just allow my sister ask me some questions 
and I will answer a few but I'll be back to tell you more so expect more of this should I call it POV Juliana's POV of the Bible or should I call it the word with us or should I call it the word within I don't know what to call it put the comment down below when you finish watching this video just let me know what you think I should call it the appropriate name for it or whatever you think you know that the Holy Spirit might have helped you to tell me my god my lipstick stain my lower just saying it <laughs> okay yeah, yeah so just let me know in the comment down below ready? are you sure you're ready i'm ready you so know what i took it till you leave no what bible character would you like to marry <laughs> yeah it has to be marriage first anyway toby if you are watching this let me just give you guys the side this toby has been forcing me to go to my husband's house in a cute way actually i think toby is one of the people that talk about husband that doesn't upset me because she makes me just laugh about it anyway you are reminding me of marriage you are reminding god um the bible character i would like to marry mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a very interesting question um i can't pick one um, apart from jesus I think the other person I would like to marry is a combination of three people. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know that I love Paul. My yes. God, I have a crush on Paul. Ah, so I think I'll take a combination of Paul, a combination of David, because I like David. David is an amazing man. You know, like David is. I love David as strong as he he, he was. He has a very your childlike heart for God. My POV, my POV, okay? He has a childlike heart. He was, he loved the Lord. I love how he inquired of the Lord. I love that he's a wise man. I love the scriptures that he wrote, you know. Was like David and God were really like cool. Solomon! Solomon for the wisdom to pick Solomon you know that I'll pick Solomon not for the polygamous nature because that guy he likes girls too much but if it was me he married he would have never married anybody else you know we always say that thing as we <laughs> okay but anyway not for his polygamous nature but I love his wisdom I love that especially the fact that he was God who gave him wisdom and Solomon has got bars so have you read songs of Solomon you'll be like is this even in the Bible <laughs> I love Solomon. He's got lyrics. He's got bars. You know, he's that kind. Of, I feel like Solomon is going to be that kind of romantic husband that will just be telling you sweet, beautiful things. Like you need a kind. You need Solomon for marriage. You know what I mean? <laughs> you need Solomon in your life. So I like his wisdom. I love that he's very poetic. I love that he can write. He's such a good writer. We can use his money for the gospel. <laughs> Let me say that first. We use the money to sponsor kingdom movements, give to missionaries, widows, um, orphanage, you know, all those things. And they would, like, you'll be spoiled. Like, mm. you'll get gifts, like yeah. gold and all those stuff. Like, oh my God. Yeah. I love, ah, Paul. Paul is fierce. He's fearless. I love his doggedness. I love his zeal for God. Paul say, if you kill me, his game. If I leave his game, you you pick one. You pick one. No, 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 no. I love Paul so much. I love his heart for God, for the gospel. And you know, like, because of the zeal and the passion that Paul has or had in his, when he was here, it made me know that he didn't see God for his soul. Do you understand? Like, he wasn't here, he wasn't, he, he didn't, when Jesus was on earth, mm -hmm. he wasn't one of the apostles, he wasn't one of the disciples, but, so it's similar to us, because we haven't seen Jesus with our own eyes, even though we have seen Jesus, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So the fact that he can love God like that, and be so fierce, and you know, like, he was unstoppable, like, they, no one could stop him, he was in prison, See, you're laughing because you know that when it comes to Paul, like my body, they pepe, they do. Chuk, chuk, chuk. That guy has my heart. Like, in heaven, they just would smile. Okay, no, my husband's house beside my house. Then after my husband's house, Paul's house. So that I can go and be greeting. Just greeting. Nothing but greeting. The life of Paul is very inspiring. I showed 
do a study about the life of Paul again. You should check out your Bible and let me know if you love these men I mentioned. If you love Paul, if you love David, if you love Solomon. These men are very so handsome. You will marry three men. No, <laughs> no, not. I'm not saying I'll marry three men. Like the combination of like in one man, like there should be like you know how you okay. have to just garnish it and spice it and mm -hmm. just, in one man. just spicy. It'll be so beautiful. Paul is too serious. He didn't marry now, so that's really thing. If not, I will have pick only Paul. And most times he was in the prison and he didn't have money. We need money to be able to send our children to school oh to be able to do something. Like, no, let's be honest. I don't he know. Have money. He didn't have money. He was wealthy, spiritually uh -huh. full of wealth. He doesn't need money. Wait, but that would do. Wait, wait, wait. Even scripture says it. We need money. Like. Boy, is it you chase God alone? <laughs> and every other thing shall be added. Be added to you. So yes, right. I get it. I get it. Like yes, but Paul, you always you are my first love. Okay, you are my first love. I love you so much. Followed by David then Solomon. Do you know what it means for God to give you? Yeah, of course. Ah, uh tell -uh. you the cap. Paul was exuding wisdom. The wisdom of Solomon is beautiful and because it's poetic. You know Paul is Paul is a serious guy. You know? So I want a little I want a little bit of seriousness, a little bit of a poetic false man that can just you know call you. You know what I mean? And then I want the David, the one that will just be like be so vulnerable and say, Babe, this is how I feel and then you know Guys! Imagination will finish me. <laughs> okay, but really, like, like when I'm reading the Bible, it's fun. I'm just laughing. I'm, you know, I already said that earlier. Anyway, yeah, thank you for this first segment of POV, Juliana's P POV Bible, Bible POV. Juliana, the word with me, the word with us, the word with him. Like, what should I call this? Juliana. Leave it in the comment down below have more coming more and more and the next time i'll be bringing my journal because i have a lot of deep things that we see there deep to me anyway because some of you are only like, like deep. what does she mean by deep whatever <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for watching this video i love you guys so much and i wish you the very best year don't forget to take god seriously this year no grief for devil no grief for Anything negative, anybody negative, any words, no grief. This year is a year that you know you must be dogged and fierce, okay? And like intimacy with God and all that great stuff. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Like this video, share. What else? Leave a comment down below. What else? Uh, I think I've basically said everything. Until next time, take care of yourselves and be well. Mwah!